Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games, and today we'll be looking at what can Mario boot in Super Mario Bros. 3. Do note that this time it'll be a little bit different from the other videos in this series. Due to the limitations on the NES system, the boot will sometimes load in the wrong sprites. We'll see things like this. <laughs> All right, you were warned. I did, however, add a shoot Goomba to the start of most levels, which fixed the problem sometimes, as you can see here. Congrats, you can rest easy knowing our favorite plumber can outstomp a Goomba in the same footwear. Bravo, Mario. That's so nice. Fire Piranha Plants would be better off hiding inside their beautiful pipe. Unshoot Goombas and Koopa Troopas get the boot. Sorry, dudes. Add wings to a Goomba and you can still squash it with ease. Adding wings to a Koopa Troopa will end with a similar fate. Regular piranhas go down as easy as their evolved fire variant. And P-switches are now stomped in style with your lime green kicks. Cool. Micro Goombas are like fleas on a doll. Not only can you not stomp them, they drive Mario crazy. Ah, look at top of me, you teeny tiny little Goombas. With enough shakes, you can finally be rid of those evil little suckers. Remember this abomination from earlier? <laughs> For some reason, Hammer, Fire, Boomerang, and Sledge Bros all cause you to get this weird Sledge Bro shoe. <laughs> oh, this thing cracks me up. The frog head goes best with this bizarre footwear. Oh yeah. Boomerang Bros, more like Boomerang. Yeah. Wow, this looks weird. <laughs> Little Head Mario also looks really funny in his boot. Hey guy. If you enter your good buddy Toad's house and apply the shoe, it turns into a treasure chest star. Now that's some fancy kicks for old Mario. Do note sadly you cannot boot Toad with your new footwear. I tried adding a Goomba shoe to the start of the fortress, but no matter what, it kept turning into this boo shoe. Almost looks like a stretch boo with a flappy wing or something. The boo shoe can take out lava bubbles. Regular waffles are delicious. Radioactive disco waffle balls of death are not. Luckily, your pretty new boo shoe shows them who's boss. Anyone got a toaster? You know what they say, all toasters toast toast. Dry bones can't be KO'd with your ghoulish boot, but you can still crush them. At the boom boom fight, your shoe now becomes part boom boom. If you boom, 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 three times with your boom, boom shoe, you will have boomed, boom, boom to death. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Why would you boot old Buzzy Beats? It does work, but leave the coolest dude in town alone. Sorry, Buzzy Bee. Ah, you cool Dobby. We know we can take out Koopa Troopas, but do we destroy the shells or do we kick them? Well, one boot stomp will actually destroy the shell. I tried adding a Goomba shoe to this hammer bruh fight. Guess what? Didn't work. Now both Mario and Goomba are in these weird sledge bro shoes. That's pretty funny. Also, uh, hammer bros more like hammer now! Yeah, yeah! In the airship levels, the boot becomes a weird cannonball cloud hammer thingy. It looks pretty stupid, really, but it does a great job at taking out bullet bills and cannonballs. It's that time, once again, to place your bets in the comments below. Can the Goomba Shoe take out the Koopalings? You have five seconds to make your guess. Five, four, four two, one. The answer is, Yes, it works. It'll still take you three hits, but it does indeed work. You also get this weird Larry shoe that makes Mario look like he really wants to be a Koopaling. The frog head once again pairs nicely here. After you collect the wand, the shoe vanishes. The king will be happy and say, Army, oh my, you've been transformed. Shall I change you back with this wand, bruh? Now it's time for Desert Land. Now it's time for Desert Land. I didn't add Goomba shoes yet. Look what happens when I start a level. The shoe becomes part of the world map Mario. 
weird. Using the Super Mario Bros. 3 Workshop, I'll add some Goomba shoes to the starts of all the levels in the worlds of threes. Neato. Hopefully this will work. Sweet, the Goomba shoe has done its job. And now we have the correct sprites again. We can now crush the pile driving micro Goombas with our super traditional footwear. However, the Fire Snake doesn't like green and magically turns your boot into an Xbox. No, not that kind of Xbox. Just a black box with four X's on it. Your Xbox shoe can take out the Fire Snake. Just be careful, because the hitbox can be a little specific. Cheap Cheeps are PS5 fans. They don't like Xboxes. Our spooky boo shoe is back. Can it stomp a thwomp? It can, but you gotta be in the exact right spot. Poor old Mario be crying boo-hoo as he learns that his boo shoe cannot defeat a boo! Mamma mia! The Angry Sun, now known as the Spiny Ball with Buzzy Beetle Shells, do you think we can defeat him with our boot? Good news for the Sun though, who is magically transformed back to his usual form. Meanwhile, Mario ends up with the PU shoe. Is this boot stinky or something? This is one of the weirdest shoe forms yet. Let's see what happens when we jump into a tornado with it. Floopity doo pop pop. The tornado is unfazed by the PU shoe. How about the angry Sun? Can we boot him? I tried multiple times and it seems like the Sun is too hot for Mario's smelly shoe. All right, so in this stage, we get a muncher shoe. The muncher shoe is tough enough to smash even the scary chain chomps of Super Mario Bros. 3. I did add a shoe Goomba to the level, but that just gave him a scary muncher shoe too. Neato. Fire Bros are so much easier when you cheat at the game. Fire Bros, more like, get this, this is a new one. Fire Bros, more like fire, no! A lonely buzzy beach shell is a lot like a Koopa shell. Doesn't get kicked, but defeated one jumped upon. Ceiling buzzy beats are cruel and they try to kill you. Luckily, you can stump them. So in the water world, I had issues right away. I went in and I added some shoot Goombas to all the levels in World 3. This worked very temporarily, and I ended up with a spiny cheap cheap shoe. These are some stylish kicks for underwater, no doubt. The spiny cheap cheap shoe easily crushes this annoying blooper. The lava lotus petals aren't affected by the boot, but the lava lotus can be taken out. It is, however, insanely hard to time right. Blooper nanny and her baby bloops are crushed by the spiny fish boot. This is quite sad, but I had to do it. I had to! I tried to shoe boss bass so, so, so many times. I say it doesn't work, but to be safe, I'll call this one a maybe. Lakitu's spiny balls are no match for the boot, and neither is a Lakitu. See ya, Cloudy. Gelectros are basically underwater spikes. You can't defeat them, but you can walk on them with the shoe. You can crush this poor defenseless little teeny tiny cheap pretty easily. You can also boot its mama, Big Bertha. Mario can be so, so cruel sometimes. Spike's balls <laughs> cannot be stomped on, but you can stomp Spike, just not his balls. Stretch Boos versus Boo Shoes. The Stretch Boos win every time. bob -ombs can be taken out with the shoe and they will not turn red or blow up, making the shoe quite useful against them. Rocky wrenches can be stomped on, but their actual wrenches cannot be. A quick note, during the Wendy fight, you get some sweet red heels in shoe form. Wow, that's confusing. Your shoe becomes shoes. You also get part of Wendy's shell. Mario is super styling now. Cool. Wearing a shoe in Giant Land. Let's try that again. Wearing a shoe in Giant Land turns this giant piranha plant into a mess of shoes, buzzy beetle shells, and a bob -omb. Once you defeat the shoe, you then get old trusty choppy piranha plant boot, which can then stomp on the piranha plant. This just gets weirder and weirder. Giant paratroopas, booted! Giant goombas, booted! Regular giant koopa troopas, booted, booted, booted! Even sledge bros are booted! Upside down spiny shells scare me but the boot gives me confidence to crush them. 
excuse me while I slip into my boo shoe and try to kill this dang hot foot. Sadly, the boo shoe doesn't have what it takes. Bullseye bills are as weak to the shoe as regular ones. Buster Beetle is not a fan of the brand new Nike Nipper Plant Airs. Nipper plants themselves are not faced by them at all. Spinies are no big deal for Mario's green boot. Here's an interesting one. Can we squash an empty shoe with a shoe? The answer is yes. Neato. Obviously, we can't take out munchers, but we can walk on them. Our bootleg Xbox might not be as good as the real thing, but it can take out those frightening flame chomps in one stump. Parabeetles don't mind being hopped upon in your box of X's. Spiny Cheeps can be stomped with the Spiny Cheap Shoe. Patooie's Spike Ball isn't stompable, and quite surprisingly, either is Patooie. That is one tough piranha plant. All right, the king of the Koopas. Can we boot him? The answer is... No! But we can bounce on his head with our brand new Bowser boots. On another note, you can't stop his fireballs either. Well, that wraps up what can Mario boot in Super Mario Brothers 3. Did any of these surprise you? Let me know in a comment. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel and you like the content, be sure to sub and check your notifications bell to be sure you're being notified of my new videos. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, join the BTG Discord, check out my merch store all down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you around.